Hey, what's up everybody? Nola Deech here. I'm out here in New Orleans in the French Quarter and right behind me is a hotel. But what used to be here is not very good. There is a lot of history in New Orleans. There's also a lot of terrible history in New Orleans. And I'm about to tell you about it right now. New Orleans nowadays is known for its food, music, the beautiful architecture, and the culture. There's a lot of history here, especially in the French Quarter, but history is not always good. This is the South after all, and our country is well known to have some terrible times in the past. We always hope to learn from things and evolve as people, and thankfully, the Emancipation Proclamation put an end to what is probably the worst part of our history, slavery. And New Orleans just so happened to be a central hub for this area for the trading of goods and slaves. Prior to 1841, the property we're about to see was home to coffee sellers, but they also traded and sold slaves. In 1838, the City Exchange Hotel was built on the property, but in 1841 a fire would destroy it, and then it was rebuilt in 1843 as the St. Louis Hotel and Exchange. A giant extravagant place for the wealthy to come and stay, drink, play billiards, have elegant balls, oh, and they also bought and sold people. That's right. In the center of the hotel lobby, items such as fruit, art, farming equipment, land, and of course enslaved people from all over were put on display as any other item where the wealthy people could browse and shop. Then an auction would take place. Families would sometimes be a package deal if there were children involved and for each person was listed their strengths and weaknesses and what type of work they'd be good to use for. This photo shows a wooden stage known as a slave block inside the hotel where the enslaved people would stand on display like pieces of furniture or equipment. The fact that they were people meant nothing. A lot of the auctioning would also take place outside in the streets as well. This was also not the only hotel this would take place in. It would happen in several other large hotels around the city. When the buyer would win the auction, a bill of sale was written up and off they went to wherever the owner would take them. These auctions would continue through the Civil War, but when the war was over in 1863 and slavery had ended, the hotel was used as a military hospital for Union soldiers, a temporary state capital, a bank, even a restaurant. Over the years, the building began to fall into disrepair and the hotel would become somewhat of a tourist attraction. This photo from 1914 shows a woman standing on the block that when she was a child was sold for a mere $1,500. In 1915, a hurricane would come through and destroy what remained of the crumbling building, with the exception of one part of a wall. The property would sit empty until 1960 when the Royal Orleans Hotel would be built. This new building would have the same design as the old hotel and even incorporated the only piece of wall left from the original hotel. And if you look here, you can actually see the word change, which would have originally read city exchange. This piece of the wall is all that remains of the original St. Louis hotel and is historically protected and designated by this marker on the side that gives a brief history of the hotel. A terrible history, a terrible past. Hopefully we have learned from our failures as people and make sure it never happens again. Well, that's going to do it for me from out here in New Orleans. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed a little land yap from this Houdat. Go pass a good time.